young mother living up in Garavetler, and, and I looked at my two little sons and I thought, well, I, I have to teach them this. So I would tell to them, well, what does the horsey say? And Scott and Chris, uh, or uh, Reese and uh, Adrian would reply, Winnie! Say, yeah, that's right. Now, now, what does the cow say? And, and uh, Reese and, Joss and uh, Adrian would go, Moo! I said, okay, that's very good. Well, then I grew up and then I went to live on a farm. That's where I heard that they were really safe. Yeah. The song is called The Hordesman and the Sheep Herder. To the tune of, well, we'll, we'll get to that in a moment. <laughs> a Mongol hordesman rode his pony out to herd some yaks. <laughs> Upon the steps of Gobi, and yes, these are the facts. And as he rode, he thought a lot about the Mongol heaven. You see, he was 84, his pony 27. <laughs> wee wee! Wee! Wee 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 wee! Wee wee! 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 <laughs> and as he rode a mighty herd of red-eyed yaks he saw, galumping through the cloudy skies and up the cloudy draw. And as I came, he heard a song like ravens in the skies, for all the axe were giving tongue. Oh, hear their awful cries. Ma, 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 ma. <sighs> and to his left, he suddenly saw a cloud of dirty white. A couple of scrawny dogs, and then a shepherd. What a sight! The Gobi Garasses down to earth. Oh, what an awful fix for cattlemen and sheepmen together do not miss. <laughs> <laughs> And the sheep herder, now this is kind of gory. You should have seen they fight the head. The moral of the story is that they both disappeared over the great wall and to the heart of China, where you hear the peacocks call. <laughs> Oh, and also chickens. Buck, 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 buck.